name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are unboxing the March Owl Crate. For myself every month I believe it is $30 plus shipping and handling and it is going to include a new released young adult sci-fi fantasy type of book plus other bookish goodies I have absolutely been loving these boxes and I believe the theme was like murder and mayhem or mischief and mayhem so I'm very excited to see exactly what we have in here okay so this is our card. It does have these spoilers on the back, and it looks like our theme is murder and mayhem. So we're going to put this off to the side. And the first item that we have here is this one here. I absolutely think this pattern is adorable. I think it's supposed to go this way. But we have, like, little skulls. I'm assuming, like, poison bottles, and then it has, like, feathers and little leaves. So this is adorable. This is one of those, like, slouchy backpacks. So we have the bottom that is, like, a nice sort of leather like feel so that's probably gonna be to make it like stronger at the bottom but we also have the like straps and then it does have a little zippered pouch in there so this is actually really really nice quality and this is just adorable so this canvas backpack was created by michelle gray the next thing we have in here is another thing that looks absolutely adorable um but we have it in this box here so i'm going to take that out but it does look like a travel mug it says, never flinch, never fear, never forget. Join the ranks of the Assassins of the Red Church with your very own travel mug inspired by Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, designed with love by Katarina Book Designs. So that is really cool that they have this right on the actual box. Okay, and so this is like a ceramic travel mug. It does have the Owl Crate logo on the bottom. Um, it does have the like silicone type of top, so it is very nice and flexible. And then we also have the silicone like sleeve on it. I'm going to take that off so we can actually see the full design. But yes, it says never flinch, never fear, never forget. This is gorgeous. Um, I don't really use travel mugs, um, but I have a feeling that if I ever need one, this is one that I would definitely want to pick up. It is just so pretty. The next thing that we have in here does look like a candle. Um, it is made by In the Wick of Time, and it looks like it is Sunai, I want to say. And it says it's scented green apple, which I'm very excited to smell it. However, in case you guys haven't been able to tell with my voice, I am currently sick with a cold, so we'll, we'll see if I can. So... <laughs> My nose is not quite working right now, but I did get a very, very light sort of fruit apple scent. I'm pretty sure that it's much stronger in person, um, but I really enjoy this. And this one is inspired by this Savage song. Next thing that we have in here looks like a wooden bookmark. It says, when the snow falls and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. So this is created by Ink and Wonder Designs. And obviously, I don't know what this is from, so I had to look it up. Apparently, it's Game of Thrones. I do not watch that or read that. Um, and so, I really do like the design, but the quote was lost on me for a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm really loving the whole, like, red, black, and white sort of theme that we have going on, even with our items. That is just really cool to me. Then it looks like we also have a sticker. Um, this is obviously going to be based on three dark crowns. It says, I want revenge and then I want my crown. This is a really, really cool design. I am loving the art on this, even though I have not read this book series. And this was designed by Jamila Mejio. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. If not, though, everything is going to be linked down below for you guys. And then it looks like we are down to the book and the goodies. So the first thing that we have that goes with our book is going to be our enamel pin. Or this one just seems like a metal pin, maybe. Um, but the pin is supposed to be going with the books. This is really cool. It's like a compass and it actually 
spins, so that is really cool. And it looks like it was designed by Iron and Ink Designs. We also have a pencil that goes with our book. Um, it's just sort of a promotional pencil. And then our book of this month is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schulte. So this is obviously going to be our Owl Crate exclusive cover, which is absolutely gorgeous. We do obviously have a signed book here. And then it also came with a letter from the author. And it looks like sort of like portraits of the queens, which I feel is very interesting. And I actually sort of like being able to sort of see this. Um, I feel like this will be something very interesting to have while we're reading the book. Okay, so I actually did not know too much about this. Um, we got this in at our bookstore pretty recently, and I just never really had the time to pick it up. Um, but this sounds very intriguing. So we have, it looks like two main characters. I don't know how the point of views are going to go. But one is Carolee, who seems heartless, but is in fact a very skilled thief. And then we also have Varen, who is a upstanding, honest citizen. So we have like two very conflicting personalities they end up sort of being thrust together when she steals something from him and puts his life in danger and he wants to get it back and after all that happens all four queens end up dead so now they sort of have to team up they're on the run from Carolee's employer and they have to sort of figure out exactly what was going on it seems like there is going to be a budding romance in here which i mean i do prefer some romance with my fantasy and I feel like it's gonna be very intriguing with the whole fact they have two very very different personalities um I am very excited for this I also just love that they have the deckled edges I know some people hate those but I really like it and so this is gonna be our comparison of the two covers here is our new cover and this is the original cover I actually like both of them I feel like the red one that we have here is a lot darker looking and I don't know which one I feel like fits the tone of the story quite yet I feel like the blue one has a little bit more hopeful almost aura to it just like a slightly less dark and deep and maybe depressing type of book. This red one definitely makes me think of murder more, so I'm very intrigued by that. I also do love though how we have everything matching this like red and black theme. It's just so cool. And then last but not least, the last thing that we have in here is going to be what the April box is going to be, and that is going to be the dark side. So that is going to be a very intriguing one as well. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've read this book already, if you're excited to read this book. I had never really heard of it until now. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. I do have videos up Mondays and Thursdays, so I will see you then. Bye!